the UNMIS Level 2 Hospital in Bentiu, built by the United Kingdom engineering team, has been officially opened. The facility will provide medical care for over 1,800 UNMIS personnel working in a remote protection of civilian site in the Unity region of South Sudan. The hospital will be able to treat 20 patients at a time, including up to four in intensive care. It provides an extensive range of services, including an emergency department, surgical theater, laboratory, x-ray, CT scanner, and aeromedical evacuation and inpatient wards. With 78 medical staff, including military clinicians, specializing in different fields. The commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Hepburn, said the hospital will provide UN staff with the assurance that if they are injured or fall ill, they will be looked after. We provide the UN staff in this area the assurance that if something does happen, that they will be looked after. Um, we provide a level of care that's broadly equivocable to the NHS, the National Health Service in the UK. Um, and that's something that we've worked really hard to maintain those sorts of standards. Um, this is a challenging environment to be in. Um, and we feel it's extremely important to both the UN personnel and the UK personnel here that they feel reassured that they've got access to that level of care. The UK engineering team arrived in South Sudan earlier this year with the task of preparing the site for the hospital. The British commanding officer in South Sudan, Lieutenant Colonel Jason Enley, said it has been a long journey and that he is proud of the achievement. It has been a very long road. There were times when we doubted that we would get there uh, and the soldiers and officers have worked immensely hard to both prepare the site for the hospital to go on, the logisticians to actually get the stores here and now the medics to actually install the facility and, and make it fully operational. You know, it's been a really big journey uh, and I'm immensely proud. The tented hospital will be replaced with a permanent structure in summer 2018. The UK medical contingent will staff the hospital for 12 months and the engineering unit has a three-year commitment to the United Nations mission in South Sudan in both Malakal and Bentiu.